best moment of the day is the moment that a new idea emerges from deep at the back of my brain to the front of my brain. Usually in the morning? No, it happens any time. What kind of music do you listen to at the moment? I listen to everything. My musical tastes are extremely eclectic. Traditional jazz, folk music, Baroque, classical music, Mozart, Bach, Purcell, even Beethoven, Brahms. Although my inclination is to favor Baroque and 18th century music over 19th century music. I, for one reason or another, while well, I admire the 19th century, both in terms of its musical accomplishment and its artistic accomplishment, it does not touch my heart quite in the same way. What books do you have on your bedside table? Right now, I have several books on why Bush should be defeated. Gombrich's book, The Insistent Last Supper. Uh, a book called The Origins of Satan by a very noted anthropologist, Elaine Pagals, and a half a dozen others. Do you read design magazines? Sometimes. When you were a child, did you want to become a graphic designer? I always wanted to be an artist. I didn't know what a graphic designer was. But I suppose since the earliest things I ever did as a child uh, was to copy comic strips, I now view the, uh, the pursuit of graphic design as a preordained condition. Where do you work on your designs and projects? Where do I work? Yes, mostly in the studio. Well, I work all over. I mean, um, I do different things in different places. I have a, a very nice studio in Woodstock, New York, about 100 miles away, where I go on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Uh, and uh, there I do things that has, have to be done alone, drawings and uh, complex things that I have to think about. At the studio, it's mostly organizing material, working with others, and uh, producing things. But I would say that I am never uh, not working in my mind. Mm. I'm always. Mm. I depend on ideas to occur in taxi cabs or at breakfast or well, anywhere. Who would you like to design something for? Maybe an institution? Or well, I, I don't have those kinds of fantasies. I'd like to design anything for an institution that did no harm and for personalities that I felt comfortable with. Mm. Do you discuss your work with other graphic designers, architects, designers? Almost never. Never. Like nearly everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Describe your style like a good friend of yours would describe it. Um, what does Milton Glaser do? Uh, this most striking character is its randomness, its range, its lack of coherence, the fact that uh, very often you could not tell that the job was done by me because there are jobs that require the absence of style as well as those that require the presence of style. As a graphic designer, is characterized by drawing more than many of my contemporaries. I love to draw, I love to illustrate, I love to make pictures. And for those who came out of the history of modernism, that is not a uh, appropriate way to work, or if not appropriate, perhaps it's just not a comfortable way to work. So I would say that uh, it would be hard for somebody looking at the range of things that I do to see a persistent uh, pattern in them, except in the realm of drawing and illustration, where the choice of colors and forms are more obviously personal. What 
project has given you the most satisfaction if there's... And that's very hard for me to say because they're all very different. I'm working now on a museum, a Buddhist museum or a Himalayan museum in New York. And it's been a very interesting mm -hmm. and pleasurable project. But all these projects have been interesting in their own in their own way. The thing that makes them more interesting than anything else is the character of the people you're working with. Not so much the project itself, I might say. So you're discussing a lot with the people you're working no, with? No, it's not so much discussing. <laughs> it's working in the sense of working together for a common purpose. Okay. Is there any designer or artist from the past you appreciate a lot? You, um, It's a reference for you? Well, uh, so many, it's hard to say, but I find myself always drawn to the work of the Viennese Secession, mm -hmm. for instance, and, and the Art Nouveau mm -hmm. movement and the Arts and Crafts movement. In fact, the historical evolution of all those manifestations from the origin. Of course, I'm also very interested in the Renaissance, so, and I collect African art, so you can see that I, I don't have a very uh, singular preference. Mm -hmm. What I do have is a sense that all of this, and I mean all of it, all the continuity of human experience is one thing. It's just you look at cave paintings, you look at Siena in the 12th century, you look at the high renaissance, you look at our times, it's all one continuous evolving cycle. And I've never thought that you had to pick one, you know, that you have to, well, I like this one, I don't like this Did one. Did you get this when you were young? Or I came think so. When you I think it's a, it is a characteristic of a certain kind of mm -hmm. training. It's also a characteristic, I think, of being Jewish and outside mm -hmm. the culture to some degree. It's more a position like an observer? Well, I think people who are outside the culture tend to pay more attention to things outside the culture and they do not necessarily adapt to the belief system of mm. the culture, mm. so. Mm. Is there any graphic designer currently working you appreciate a lot? Oh, I, there are a lot of Among very good people younger? around them. Uh, I, I like uh, Stefan Seigmeister very much. I think he's doing very interesting work. I've always loved uh, not around now, but Bruno Minotti. I always oh, felt. I worked with Bruno Minotti. Did you? I always felt he was a brilliant, a brilliant designer because of more than anything else, because the way he thought about things. I've always admired that among Americans, Paul Rand. Mm. And we have a, there is a, a rich legacy in America of designers, Lester Beale, others who, were, who I admire. Any advice for the young? For the young. The young graphic designers, oh, <laughs> the young Well, it's a tough business. It's a tough business. And uh, like all things, if you want to accomplish anything, you have to be amazingly consistent and persistent. You have to work like hell. You cannot become an excellent practitioner without constantly working all your life. It is not an easy way to earn your money. And you have to be well trained, and you have to not be narrow or parochial in your references. It's okay to look at what everybody else is doing at the time, but the richness of understanding comes from a deep philosophical, historical idea of what conveying information to others really consists of. How much do you do use computer techniques? Um, I never touch a computer with these hands because I'm sure they'll drop off if I touch it. But uh, my assistants in the office use it every single day, and there's no way of running a design office without using computers anymore. Last question What are you afraid of regarding the future? I'm afraid of the end of the human species. The fact that we are at the brink of extermination. The fact that the earth itself has been so defiled and so abused that in a very short time, and I mean really short time, it will not be able to support its inhabitants. That seems to be a real issue and occurring at a fantastic speed without any appropriate response from the world's governments.
particularly our own.